This is a flat iron that I've seen it's circulating on Facebook. It is a steam flat iron, and this is what it looks like so far. It comes with a steam chamber right here, which the button right here releases it. It has a lock and unlock. When you unlock the steam chamber, it looks like this on the other side. Let's see if I can get a closer look for you guys. And then you're supposed to peel back the um, seal right here so you can put the water in there like that and then clamp it back on I already have water in here like so and then you're gonna put it back into your steam chamber and you're gonna hear it click that means that it's already locked it automatically goes in the lock position now how do you turn it on hold on I did it wrong slide it in <laughs> and then snap it okay now, right under here is how you turn it on, but you won't be able to see it until I actually turn it on because this part lights up. It goes all the way up to 235 degrees, and I did purchase this off of AliExpress, but I know some of you guys don't trust AliExpress, so I also found it on Amazon, which I will link below, is the same exact flat iron, the same one. So when you get it from AliExpress, you need to tell them how, um, what country you're from so they can give you the correct plug, but don't let this alarm you because this is an adapter, I guess, to whoever. I don't know whose plug looks like this. So when you take it off like this, you get your traditional standard plug that you can plug into your wall and this is the plug I just took off so when it comes like this just pop this part off okay so uh, let's go ahead and see how this flat iron does okay so this is the inside of the flat iron you've got your on off uh, and this is how you're going to adjust the temperature. I'm trying to tilt this as best as I can. Now on the other side, right there, you see that big round circle? When you actually put your hair inside and you close it and slide your hair through, that's when the steam is released so you are not wasting any water. Um, and right here, as you can tell, is a little dial. I'm trying to get it to focus. Is a little dial and you can have it with no steam right here you can have it with a little steam or a lot of steam okay so you just turn that dial right there to as you can see the dot to what wherever you desire so now I'm going to try and flip this around and turn it on for you guys and there you go you see all those numbers back there lighting up I already have this preset to um, 200 and I think 20 degrees or so so it, it heats up very quickly so you see that it's got the power right there let's see if I can turn it around so you guys can see it's hard so I'm gonna set mine to 220 degrees and then I'm gonna let this heat up and then I'm going to begin flat ironing my hair trying to do right now is brush out all uh, the little bump that my mom put at the end of my hair and gave me like an old lady hairstyle kind of anyway I'm gonna take some oil sheen this is nothing new or you know it's just the um, oil sheen from olive oil and I'm going to lightly do that And then I'm going to take a wide tube comb and I'm going to incorporate that into the hair. Now as you can tell, it got it 
pretty darn straight. I was really impressed with this. But I ain't doing it yet. Considering I don't like the way this side is looking because I didn't get that close to it, you can come back with a um, pressing comb or a really small flat iron and get those edges. But I wouldn't burn myself because that flat iron gets pretty hot. So I'm going to be using this Edge Booster by Style Factor. I'll leave the link down below. Gosh, y'all can't see nothing. There you go. So Style Factor Edge Booster. And the reason why I like this Edge Booster is because it makes everything stay put. It does not turn oily on your hair like um i know i got one in here like this the, uh, edge control crap does nothing for me the olive oil ors this this oil sheen that i just used does nothing for me turns into oil i even tried doing the soft sheen sports wave edge control does nothing for me but this works so it does not look like this inside the jar. <laughs> um, it does come scented. They have like strawberry, kiwi, coconut, and stuff like that. Um, but it is clear inside of the jar. So this is just the color of the jar. And here is the actual edge control. So it's on my fingers. Clear. Clear. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take this and... A denim brush and I'm going to put that right on the edges of my hair and see how I like that and then I'm going to brush it down you see now this does not turn oily it does dry so you can do it like this and go with it still stay put or you can do it like this and still be able to use your scarf, tie it down if you want, is really up to you. But um, I've tried both methods and they work, either or works just about the same. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna get right up in here. And I think I'll do a little bit right here. To straightening my hair I did shampoo and deep condition my hair I shampooed my hair with your um, drugstore brand suave professional sleek use this type of shampoo you can get this at any of your drugstores CVS pharmacy Walgreens Walmart you name it it's probably there and I also use the sleek conditioner and this is what I left in my hair for about two hours and I placed this all over my head pl place a baggy or not a baggy what is it called a plastic cap over my head for two hours rinsed it out with cool water and then I took this contraption right here that goes to this blow dryer right here I had to check you probably can't see the um, name of it but anyway this is the detangler um, 1875 red by kiss anyway and I put this on there it is a ceramic comb put that on there like that blow dry my hair on the low setting okay and I did that throughout all my head, okay? And then after I did that, I came back with my homemade miracle, uh, what is this? <laughs> Leave-in conditioner. If you want to know what's in here and how I made it, I'll do a video. Just let me know down below. I want to know. Say hashtag, I want to know. I Say something, okay? So I put that, sprayed that in there, came back with my blow dryer, and blow dried it back on low until it was completely dry and then I went to bed because I did this late then I came back with the flat iron and that's it that's pretty much all I did prior before doing any of this well before doing my straightening process with the steam come flat on camera so I can do the rest of them, uh, the rest of my edges, but 
it's sleek. Now, I think you should really invest in one. <laughs> and the only reason why I say that is because this steam flat iron, somebody was on the something here. Reminds me of old school Maxi Glide. If you remember old school Maxi Glide, put it down in the comments. I remember old school Maxi Glide, okay? Now, with the steam on here, I like the fact that the chamber is so small, but you don't use all the water, so you have to keep filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. I never had to refill this up when I did my whole head. Didn't have to refill it up. And a matter of fact, it's not even halfway gone. Like, the water is like right here. So, nope, I'm lying. It's, it's right here. So, this line right here. So, invest in one. I'll leave the links down below. I know a lot of you guys do not believe in no AliExpress or let alone trust them. So I also found it on Amazon and that link is down below. But might I mind you, if you order from AliExpress, it will take 22 days to get here. So if you are in a rush to get this flat iron, get it from Amazon. You get it in a couple of days, obviously. So yeah. Now, um, the only thing that I dislike about this product, and it's not even necessarily dislike, I do think you need to uh, invest in a thermal glove because this gets a very, very hot, like super hot. Um, so your fingers would burn. You can't even grab the tips, even though it's got like these little nodules here where you could grab it. You can't even do that with this flat iron because it gets too god dang hot. So, Invest in one. Invest in one. Invest in one. I'm going to go pick up another one. All the links are down below. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know if you're going to pick yours up. Um, another reason why I like this flat iron is because it made my hair super straight. It did not dry it out. It did not feel crinkly. It did not feel uh, like desert storm. And it got my ends very re well. Remember in the last video, I told you guys I had them struggle ends and all that other stuff. But this is it. And this is my one year being natural too. So it's grown out a lot. In my last video, my big chop, you can go see how long my hair was. I cut it to about like that short right here. And this is how long it is a year later. And I also have a video on how I made my hair grow so quickly. And I just wanted to show you guys the how it flows really nicely. Does it stick up or anything? So Remember to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Share this share tutorial. Leave all your questions down below if you have some. Let me know if you're going to get one. Let me know if it's your birthday. Let me know if you went to church on Sunday. <laughs> and until next time, see you later. Bye.